Mr. Saunders, we have been waiting to meet you. Do you still do backflips? <laughs> uh, the, the ability's still there, but um, no, I, I haven't done one. I, I can't lie to you. I ain't done one in probably since, like, the senior bowl because, you know, it, I'm trying to I'm, – I'm earning the job now, so it's a little different. Is it just because the, the team members and... haven't arrived yet so they can age you to <laughs> Actually, uh, Tyron Matthew, he – um, like, he jokes, obviously, but every day when I walk past my meetings, he's like, hey, do a backflip. Like, literally – in the in the rooms, I'm like, you know, he's joking, obviously, but uh, yeah, no, the, the veterans, they they all joke around. I'm pretty sure he can do one too, so he just gets on me about it. Have you have you thought about obviously when the veterans come, the quote unquote hazing that you all may have to do, or do you know your alma mater fight song and stuff? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I do know my alma mater fight song, but um, no, I, I, I honestly um, I don't think the hazing is going to be an issue at all because um, you know, this team is such a tight knit group and. Uh, I think when you when you get so, that close to the to the championship game, uh, your focus is getting back there. So nobody really is into that hazing stuff, man. Everybody's trying to work positively and work to get back where we were, past where we were or they were. And so, um, you know, I, I don't even I haven't even seen any any type of hazing really since I've been here. Possible absence of Chris Jones. Uh, are you ready for the opportunity that could present itself? Oh yeah, um, uh, me and Chris talk a little bit over uh, social media and text, and um, you know he he helps me a lot even when he's not here. You know he's he's uh, helped me with my nutrition and diet because you know he he himself is losing a little bit of weight as well. So he told me how to do that and uh, how to be a professional about it. And so you know he he's a help even when he's not not here right now. Now it's Colin, right? Yes, ma'am. Even though it's spelled differently. <laughs> yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So what do you know now that you didn't know before you were drafted? We talked to you. What do you know now? How are you older and wiser at this point? Oh, well, I mean, there's there's a professional way to do everything. Um, that's that's what I've learned since I've been here. Uh, there There's like, you know, there's a, there's a right way, there's your way, and then there's, you know, the professional way. So I think that, um, like I said, uh, every the, the oldest guy on our team or on our defense, I think, is Tyron. And he's what 27 or 28 or something. So like, you know, that just shows you right there that there, there's a it's a young group and uh, all of those guys. I mean, he's 27. I'm about to be 23 on August 9th, and you know that's four years apart. And uh, he got that much experience. So he just he was you know telling me um uh, not just him but everybody. They just teach me every a lot of things every day as, as far as uh just you know coming in and getting ready to work, how you prepare to get ready to work and things of that nature. With the veterans not being here, looks like you're getting a lot of one-on-one. -on -one especially with Brendan Daly. What's it been like learning from him, and what are some of the things that he's telling you? Um, yeah, well, even when they were here, uh, you know, he, he helps. I mean, he, that's, his, that's his style. You know, he's very interactive. Uh, no matter who it is, no matter if it's undrafted, first round, whatever, he, he, he's going to take that attention or that time to attention to detail for you. And uh, he details everything for you. Um, you, you know, regardless of who, who's up, he's gonna, he wants you to do it right. And uh, at the end of the day, that's that's how you a sign of a coach that cares is if he wants everybody to do it right, not just the guys that he potentially will keep. So he's coaching everybody the same, and um, I love it. On social, like media, on social media, a lot you keep harping about being one star, two star guy. Do you kind of carry that mentality into camp? And no how much doubt. does that help you in trying to make a spot? No doubt, no doubt. Um, yeah, that's big to me. Um, you know, obviously coming out of high school, I ended up in Western Illinois, and that's that's a uh, it was a blessing. I, I love the school, but. Uh, yeah, it's, that's very um, um, near and dear to my heart as far as uh, just the recruiting process. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I play with that, that type of energy and that type of chip on my shoulder because, um, you know, a lot of people from my position um, aren't lucky enough to be here. And uh, that and I'll never take that for granted in my life. So, um, you know, I always play with that tenacity and uh, force from, from carrying that in the back of my mind. Oh, the Chiefs recently became, quote, unquote, the official team in Missouri, being the St. Louis guy. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Oh, I mean, I love it. <laughs> you know, I, like I said, I was just saying over there, I, I love red. And I, I played at Parkway Central where we were red. So, you know, it's fun getting back to wearing red. And, um, and uh, yeah, the Chiefs, they're a tremendous team. That's On top of that, you know, it's, it's even better when you come into a team who's a step away from the, from the Super Bowl. So, uh, hopefully, like I said, we can get back to that that uh, position and uh, go forward from there. Such a big part of your story is being a father at the senior bowl and, and sort of missing that. Just how has it been being, you know, a father? It seems like your social media is something yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I love. I'm, I mean, like every proud dad, I love showing my baby off. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. It's new, but uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's very comforting. Like when you get done with a hard day at work, and you come home and see a beautiful little girl just smiling and happy to see you. She just start like noticing faces and recognizing. So uh, you know, I can once I get into you know, she kind of look at me with that like, who is that look? 
and I get into her range and she smile with all them gums and it's just like it, it melts me up. So uh, yeah, I, I I've been loving it lately. It's it's a it's a it's a tremendous responsibility, but it, it's also a responsibility I think I have been preparing for for a, a greater part of my life. Knowing the type Chris. of competition that you're going to be facing this fall, how does going up against Patrick every day make you better? Knowing oh yeah, you're yeah. I mean, we we know what Patrick is. We, you know, we know who he is. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. So. Um, you know, getting to go against that every day, I mean, that, that like sets a standard. And so, like, um, you know, when you when you get to uh, not, you know, obviously they're the quarterbacks in the NFL. They're in the NFL for a reason. So I'm not taking away from anything from anything they're doing. But you know, when you go against Pat, it's a little different. So uh, he can he can do almost anything that a quarterback position is uh, allowed to do. And uh, yeah, when you see that every day, it kind of prepares you for almost anything you can see. How much depth on the defensive side right now, just because the veterans aren't here? How much does that help you to get those extra reps? I mean, there's not, you know, a guy behind you necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it, it helps a lot because, um, you know, I get to I get to see the different looks that the offense, and then you got a coach like Coach Reed. I mean, we all know Coach Reed offensively is is amazing. So uh, when you're on the defensive side of the ball, it's a little bit different uh, of a perspective. And um, yeah, I, I I feel like going against Coach Coach Reed's offense every day. Especially, like you said, not having too many subs, so I get to see a, di a lot of different looks. Uh, it just goes back to like playing against Pat every day. You know, it's one of the best coaches, one of the best quarterbacks, and when you when you play against those that duo uh, every day for a lot of snaps, uh, you get to learn a lot. So I've been fortunate for that. You were able to play three four in college. Yes, sir. Uh, did that make the transition easier coming out here? Well, I actually played uh, three four and a four three in college, so I'm used to any kind of defense. You know, I pick them up uh, really fairly easily and uh you know it, it's been it's been really easy especially with the coaching the coaching staff out here they you know they ex, um specifically explain exactly what they want you to do so that's been very helpful you mentioned chris you mentioned chris working with you on nutrition and diet kind of where are you right now weight wise and where do you want to be what's your goal compared to where you played in college uh i'm comfortable right now um you know they obviously give you report weight and uh i, I was in within the report weight but uh, i'm very comfortable uh everybody's happy with with how I came back as far as um, weight-wise and in shape-wise. And, uh, you know, I've, I, like I said, that just comes back to all the veterans teaching me how to prepare like a professional and uh, be a professional. So, you know, I, I think that, um, like you said, Chris, he, he helped a lot, man. He was, that was one of the first people I reached out to, and uh, he just taught me how to, how to eat, you know, how to eat, how to sleep, when to stop eating at night, stuff like that. And uh, it, it, helps, it helped a lot. Yeah. What's, what's, what's Chris' involvement with you guys? How, how much do you feel like he's involved with everybody here, even though sort of practice with you guys on the field here, right? It's, yeah. Do you feel that there's a misconception that he's, you know, that he's doing more than what people are obviously seeing? Yeah. No, I mean, uh, you know, obviously the uh, whoever will think what they want to think, um, but it's the team and, uh, you know, we, we all know where his head is and where his heart is. So, uh, you know, it's, it's um, that's just, you know, what he's doing right now. He's, he's just working like everybody else. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you can't just assume that he's not working right now. So um, he, like I said, he's working in his own right and then he helped me. Mm -hmm. So that's all you can ask for from a teammate. And um, he's been a tremendous teammate ever since the night I got drafted. I mean, literally the next day we were talking. So uh, he, yeah, like I said, he's, he's a tremendous teammate and um, you know, he's, he's been working himself. Colin, last one. You're listed on the, the roster as 324. You talk about coming in the way you want. So have you lost some weight under this new plan? You don't have to give us an exact, but about 20 pounds, about 10? Yeah, where yeah. Are you? No, I, I've lost weight um, about like 10 to 15. And wow. uh, that's that's where I want to stay at, though. Um, you know, I, I want to stay within that range just because that's where I feel uh, light enough to move well, but then also heavy enough to um, fight 600 pounds every play. <laughs> yeah, no doubt.